Hello and welcome to VaporTech. Today we're doing a Stevens oxidation of an aldehyde using methanol and sodium hypochlorite. This is a biphasic reaction. My sodium hypochlorite is in an aqueous solution and my other reagents are in ethyl acetate. So I'm going to be using our reactor for rapid mixing. These reactors are ideal for biphasic reactions because when you use a T-piece like this, you get very aggressive mixing in the mixer, but then as soon as you go into a standard tube, the two phases separate and you have the same mass transfer limitations. So the rapid mixing reactor has static mixtures throughout its whole length. So you get very good mixing at the start, but also throughout the whole length of the reactor. So for a biphasic reaction like this, you get much better mass transfer. Like all of the VaporTech reactors, it just installs on the front of the system. And the thermocouple goes into this top port and is gently screwed in. So this reactor is 20 milliliters in volume, and this reaction is very fast. So I can have really quite high throughput. Because of that, I'm using the R2HFC. This is a high flow rate pump head with two 50 milliliter pumps with the same chemical compatibility as our other acid resistant systems. Unlike our other pumps, this uses large bore aspiration lines so that you don't get cavitation in the lines when you're pumping. The last solvent used in this pump is not miscible with the solvents that I want to use today. So because of that, I need to use a bridging solvent, which is miscible in the last solvent and miscible with both of the two solvents I'm using now. And that way I'll be able to switch between the two without having any pumping problems. So now the pumps have got the right solvents, I can prime my reagents as well. So to prime the reagents first, I need to put the switching valves into the reagent positions. Then using a syringe, I open the priming valve about one full turn, pull through a few milliliters, switch back to solvent, pull through another couple of milliliters, close the valve just finger tight, and you can dispose of this. The last thing to do with the pumps before I start the experiment is to fill the backwash. I've got some clean solvent, and because I'm using two different solvents for two different reagents, I'm going to put the specific solvent for each pump into the pump's backwash. To fill the backwash, just use a syringe and inject the solvent into this valve here. So now I've got the system ready for the experiment, I need to actually program the experiment in Flow Commander. This screen allows me to design my experiment in more detail. So I can tell Flow Commander what molar ratios I want, what residence time I want inside the reactor, what temperature I'm using, and how much material I want to use of my reagents. And to help guide that, I can use this dispersion model. This is a measure of how much dilution I will get as my reagents pass through the reactor. I can also let Flow Commander control how to collect my product. For this experiment, I want to enter a specific volume. So I'm going to use the manual tool and tell it to just collect 20 milliliters. I can also use this shaded region as a guide of where in my steady state it's going to be collecting. I'm going to move it. So now the system's ready to run, I can start the experiment. So now the reaction's finished, Flow Commander has cleaned the system for me, and it's collected my product.